Welcome to the Vermont Concerned Citizen channel. We are a patriotic American community, and please consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you. Come down with your breeches of deer skin and jackets of brown, with your red woolen caps and your moccasins come to the gathering summons of trumpet and drum. Come down with your rifle. Let yeah, I got a package in the mail. Wonder what it could be. Oh, well, I know. You don't know. Anyway, so I have that old uh, USGI Woodland Modular Sleep System. But it came with aftermarket sleeping bags. I think I got it from Sportsman's Guide, cheaper than dirt back then. That's how they sold it. So anyways, I'm in the process of buying the real USGI sleeping bag. So here we have the patrol bag. Let me get out of the box and let's take a look. There you go. Okay, I can tell you right now, looking through the camera, looking through the naked eye, this thing looks more bright green in the camera. Then I'm seeing it through my naked eye where it looks all of drab. But look how small that thing's back down. A box can't be 7 inches by 7 inches by maybe a foot tall. And that USGI sleeping bag fits in there. Patrol bag fits in there nicely. So shameful the colors off. Let me turn the light off and see if you show you the real color of it. Okay, turn the lamp on. Shut that light off. There you go. You can see how it's more of the army green closer to olive drab My amazing difference with that light on the camera than this true color isn't it okay I got the light back on just so we can read this modular sleeping bag patrol instructions for use if you're gonna wash it which I am going to do because the retailer where I bought this said it was laundered prior to delivery but hey we all know what they call these things in the military. Fart sacks. No, I'm not going to sniff it. I'm not going to see if it stinks. I'm not even going to smell it. I don't smell any odors, but it's going to get a nice uh, cleansing and a drying. So, anyways, let's uh, lay it out and see what we're looking at here. The thing I want to start off with, it does have the Velcro to go over, which is in good shape. It's clogged up with a little bit of lint fibers. But look at these. YKK zippers. Those things are huge, man. What I do on these things in the past, I'll take a little paracord or some kind of braided rope, make a little extension with a knot, give this thing something a little bit longer in case I'm using gloves to get in and out of it to pull it up. Anyways, it's got the zipper all that goes down about yeah, two-thirds, and then it's got the snaps. So I can snap into the uh, intermediate bag. Actually, the intermediate bag snaps into it. This goes around the intermediate bag, but let me lay this thing out. Start down at the end. Goes all the way out. 80 inches thereabouts, approximately. And it has the drawstring closure. So you can cinch that up around your face. So if you wear your baklava when you go to bed, if you don't want to go inside the Gore-Tex bivy bag, which will wrap around you, Velcro's over, you can draw this pretty snug up around your face. Not going to be perfect. You're not going to cut off all the air, but hey, you know, I like the Wiggies, the only downfall I ever felt with these things is you can feel this cord cutting into you, rubbing into you. wish that they made a little flap of extension, the power, insulation, come over and kind of provide that. But it is what it is. Okay, just unzipped it, opened it up. You can smell that musty smell being stored doesn't smell dirty it just smells musty hence the fart sack it's gonna go be laundered when I get the intermediate bag in and dig out the bivy maybe we'll take them out in the woods and set them up and 
spend some time under a tree or something like that and test them out. So, anyways, I think uh, we'll pretty much conclude the video here. Oh, the inside material is just a uh, black nylon. The outside is the uh, the green, and then the intermediate bag would be black on black. So, uh, the newer ACUs and those all have a different color scheme as well. So if you get one of these patrol bags and it's gray, that probably came from the ACU one, and I'm not sure if they make them now for the Coyote ones or not. So anyways, let me go get this thing into the wash machine. And if you're going to do anything, they recommend powder detergent, gentle cycle, warm. We got it in the wash machine. <laughs> That's pretty dirty, man. There's some dirt in that damn thing. Maybe I'll wash it twice here. That's why you launder them. A real tailor said it was laundered before they shipped it. Yeah, I don't trust them. Yeah, washing a second time. It's getting cleaner, so. Don't know if it's going to need a third wash or not. The patrol bag's probably been dragged through the ground, the mud, the dirt. God knows what. There we go. Look at that. The water is nice and clear. Nice and soapy. <laughs> Three times is a charm. But hey, this thing's probably been dragged through the mud, the muck, God knows what, you know? You are your first and last line of defense. Keep that powder dry. Be safe and stay armed. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification for future videos.